what's up guys this is Tauntaun here welcome back to my channel so 2020 has ended and we are beginning with 2021 with upcoming new transformer and etc but it is kind of late doing this but I think I still need I still should do this so here is my top 8 best studio series transformer got released in 2020 so note that this is a studio series specialist so the go for Cybertron trilogy will be reviewed later well, I will have a look on the, uh, the top 8 later, but now let's begin. So beginning on the with the 8th rank, we have Leader Class Overload. So why we have Overload here? It is because he's a really nice Transformer standalone by himself. I've always said that in my opinion, the standalone Constructicons looks kind of weird and hard to displace. But with Overload here, he's a really good standalone Transformer by himself. I enjoy the transforming, I enjoy the transforming to the hips and waist section of Devastator and to me the vehicle mode, alternate mode looks fine and especially I enjoy him finally having an official looks in the movie because as we know Overlord has never got any official robot mode in the movie instead we got the concept art of the spider legged versions and of course the comic versions which is this one right here so yeah he's really nice and in my opinion, the only reason that Overlord got in the 8th rank is this because of the grind of Devastator that got attached onto his back in the robot form like this. To me, it feels kind of forcing. And so normally displaying robot mode only, I would not, I would prefer to leave this one around just to save some a little bit of space on my shelf. So moving on. So next on the number 7 is Scrapper. And the reason that Scrapper got this is because He's a Voyager and he doesn't come with any accessories. And that is the only reason why I left him at the number 7 spot. If he come with some wrecking balls or some chains, his place would definitely be higher. And what about Scrapper? I mean like, he's, he got a nice robot mode, a nice vehicle mode, and the transformation into the right arm of Devastator is really easy and straightforward. So like, I absolutely adore the ways they managed to solve the two big set of wheels in the alternate mode and put it onto the robot leg. That is absolutely beautiful and genius and at the same time does not left any cables out too much and the face is also one minus but i guess that is a design and there's nothing too much i can do about that other than that i think he deserves a number seven now moving on and next on number six we have blitzwing so many of you would argue me why blitzwing at a very low point on the list i mean firstly this is not a worst list this is the top eight so by being here it means something and i know that we can argue that blitzwing have an excellent robot mode and a beautiful head, head sculpt but the thing with blitzwing is that the jet mode as you all know that the blitzwing underneath section of the jet mode is a keyboard nightmare you can see robot parts everywhere well, this is not really nice looking so when i judge a transformer i judge by the both of them alternate mode and the robot mode and to me blitzwing here is a really absolutely beautiful robot mode transformer but as a jet he just doesn't do the job so i know that some uh, third party is doing a retool of blitzwing so and i see i have seen the jet mode the jet mode looks absolutely perfect and that is really nice and i of course i still gonna purchase that figures and hopefully can review it to you guys soon and one more thing is that he got a really nice blaster but unfortunately this can be stored in the jet mode which is a shame and i hope that the upcoming third party will gonna fix that problem as well so moving on to number five so on the number five here we have cup he's a 86 transformer which is a new line of studio series and which specializes in the g1 continuity of the transformer and especially the character that appears in the movie and to become is fine the head scope may look a little bit too old for me but the playing features of him can be removing his arms and legs Plus with the Energon Bar accessories, it makes him really nice. I enjoy having a couple around to play with and he's a great addition to my 86 Transformer team. And the way he transforms is really interesting as well. It is a new kind of transforming that I wouldn't expect when I first got him. And to me, one of the best this year I got to transform. Other than that, he, his color is dark. I mean like he's a side character so there's nothing too much I can say about him. But Cup is cool, so get Cup for his Scott Sword out. And next on the number 4 list, we have Off-Road Bumblebee. So the reason that Off-Road Bumblebee got on number 4 on this list is because of this reason. We got a beautiful robot mode and we got a beautiful jeep mode, alternate mode. 
and especially in the Jeep mode you can see the whole driving section of the cars which is really nice and I absolutely adore that other than that this figure inspired two other figures with his with its kind of transformation so first we have cliff jumper and then we're gonna have in the future is B127 which means that he got a really nice and easy transforming mechanism and I absolutely adore that so that is why he's on number four and to those of you who unfortunately didn't get this guy please get B27, B127 I think that is a better version of Super Movie and I hope that I'm gonna get my hands on B127 soon Number 3 on the list, here we have Studio Series Deluxe Class Top Spin. So by this time last year, minus a month, I got my hands on Deluxe Class Roadbuster, which is the first Studio Series Wreckers ever. And frankly, at the time, I was really disappointed because of the lack of weapon and the bad cables on the back. And I was really looking down to Top Spin because they have to share their similar alternate car mode. But when I get my hands on Top Spin, it really changed my mind. He got a really nice car mode as usual and of course the set of accessories come is massive to a deluxe class and the greatest of the all is that he got less than a back cable than Roadbuster. I played with him, I enjoyed him and also the, although the weapon is rubber but to me that is fine. He got a nice head sculpt and the hair looks great and that should do the job. Second on the list, which is a figure that I have never done a review on, we have Studio Series Sentinel Prime. Um, I mean, like he's the greatest Studio Series of the movie verse of the Bayverse I have ever touched my hands on. That is a hands down. He got a nice robot mode, nice paint job, and uh, look at that paint. That is a really uh, some high quality masterpiece, looking like paint. And the face sculpt is beautiful. He got less kibble than I would expect him to got. And the transformation is nice and slick. And look at the ways of the transformation with, with all the panel. That is some really high class transforming technique over here. So the only reason that Sentinel got this second spot on our list it is because of his accessories. I mean, I like, just look at this. That is solely a disappointment, for sure. But luckily, we have DNA upgrade kits to fix that. And of course, in the future, some, some third parties gonna jump in with a KO upscale of Sentinel and then give him a proper weapon that they stole from DNA, which is. I mean that is good, that is good. So do I re recommend these figures? Of course I do, but how do you upgrade this figure? Get the DNA upgrade kit, that is an absolutely must if you want to have your best looking Sentinel Prime ever. And for some honorable mention before I got to the top one, I must include the Studio Series Shutter Jet Mode and the Studio Series 86 Grimlock. I consider a lot, pull them up and put them down for the list, but unfortunately they didn't admit it to the final list. I think that they should deserve some honorable mention. And now for the moment that you've all been waiting for, the best studio series figures of 2020. Best studio series figures of 2020 is of course Studio 86 Roger Class Hot Rod. What can you can play on this guy? You got a beautiful transformation. You got a bunch of accessories. You even got the Matrix. And yet remind you that he's the first characters of the studio series line that actually got a Matrix of leadership, unlike Optimus or Sentinel. So yeah, that is an absolutely top one. You got beautiful aesthetics, you got a beautiful transformation, you got a really nice articulation range, and the accessory is just massive that you can play with any type of poses you want. And if you turn into the back, the keyboard doesn't even exist. I absolutely adore the way that this guy can transform to a really slick and beautiful sport car. And like I have said in this guy's review, the masterpiece version can go from now. And of course, this is an absolutely good figure. So this is a must get if you are a Transformer fan. And especially if you're collecting the Studio Series line, you must get this one. He's the best looking hot rod ever. Until some third party is gonna jump in and make some better versions of him. So that should be it for today's video. I'm gonna come back soon with another top 8 Wolf of Cybertron trilogy. And of course, if you this is the first video you ever watched that made from mine, feel free to press the subscribe button and also comment and tell me what you think about my list. And remember, this list is my personal opinion. So don't get too upset if your favorite figures doesn't appear. And so follow me on Instagram. And of course, if you feel like you can buy me a coffee, Link is in the description below. Tonton now.